Hi, welcome to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Today's video, I'm going to show you how I built my foundation under my house. It's actually a cement block skirting for a manufactured home. That's how it's coated with the county. First of all, I dug out the trenches, took a 2 by 6 20 uh, foot long uh, beams that I used for my raised bed gardens, wrapped them in black bisqueen so I could preserve them. They'll break easy from the break loose easy from the cement and I can reuse them in the garden. And I use those for my forms. I laid rebar in the uh, in the foundation forms to reinforce it according to code. Uh, and then I collected uh, cement blocks. And I collected 30 bags of uh, mortar and now it's time to get busy. Okay, I got my foundation footings built. Got them all set in. This is a uh, one foot wide, six inches deep, and then the rebar is spaced accordingly. Code. I had a backfill in here. I'll get some more backfill down in there. Okay, it's October 2nd. I uh, this week on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and today Thursday. I was able to, Monday I ran some errands, and Tuesday uh, I poured cement, mixed cement and poured cement. Uh, it was uh, 100 and 112 80-pound bags of quick creek cement to make a 1-foot wide, 6-inch deep, and 150-foot long footing for my cement block skirting foundation that I'll be putting on this uh, manufactured home. I have my cement block all laid out. This is the amount of blocks that we'll be putting on the footing and going up. This, These blocks will be the vents. I will mortar in some screen behind them to keep the bugs from getting through. And these short pieces, these thin pieces, are what's going on top like this. Because they'll be facing across the front of this steel plate. The tools you'll need will be a level, a trowel, a trim tool for the spacing between the cement blocks as you apply the border and clean them up and make nice even grooves after a while. A good pair of knee pads. You're going to spend a lot of time on your knees. And a good pair of gloves to protect your hands from the mortar. You'll need some string a tape measure, a marking pen, you're going to need a shovel, you're going to need a wheelbarrow for mixing the mortar, and you're going to need your stack of mortar. Now I've created a space from the top of the footing to the bottom of the house of 26 and a half inches. The reason for 26 and a half inches is you're going to accommodate approximately an inch and a half to two inches of your shims which go against the house. Your seal plate, which the shims rest on and rest on top of the cement blocks. And three layers of cement blocks that are eight inches wide, eight inches high, 16 inches wide. This 80 pound bag of quick crete mortar calls for a four and a half quarts of water to be added to it or you can add a little bit more water to achieve the consistency. So this gallon jug clear up to the rim holds four and a quarter quarts so I need four and a half quarts so this gives me a general idea how much I need to add.
here I had the put the block on its side and you uh, inserted my dryer vent and in behind that around that I sprayed that expanding foam insulation from a can that's what I'm spraying under the seal plate here to uh, seal in the gaps this is a access hole to reach in and uh, get to my water uh, shut off which is back there and then that's an access port for the line set for the heat pump uh, that has to be hooked up yet and then there's the gas line you'll notice I've put in an anchoring strap here every four feet and then we poured cement in there we used a short piece of plastic gutter to shove under there and then put it in an angle and sh uh, slide the cement it was able to pour right down into the hole so these are all backfilled every four feet it's screwed down and uh, strapped every four feet all the way around the house front you know the, the front and back and here is another access port for some special drains I have installed this is a I'll be fabricating a cover plate over the top of that, but this is a, uh, I don't know if you can see that there, those are uh, shutoff valves for my uh, water drains for hot and cold water lines in the house. Whenever we have one of those um, polar vortexes, the temperature dips way down below zero and everything gets frigid and locked and you know freezes up tight so I'm able to turn the water pump off at the well house shut the lines down drain the lines and open this valves these two valves and drain all the water out of the lines until this um, polar vortex passes and then I can recharge my lines and I don't have to worry about it. any broken water lines last year it was a bitch uh, had a broken valve up at the well and I had several breaks in the lines down here in the house so I installed these I'm not taking any chances I'll drain them I'll keep my eye on the uh, weather forecast and make sure that uh, the polar vortex isn't going to get us you can see everywhere it's wet in the seams that's where a strap is because that's where we backfilled with uh, cement and the uh, cement as it's drying out the mortar between those blocks are leaching out the water so it shows every place we have a backfill here you see the cement block the sill plate the wedges which support the house and then we have spray foam insulation and a house tie strap every four foot The foundation and the footing is finished. We're sealing up the ends right now. Uh, my wife painted up the trim boards that will go on the on that space there. I built the access door. There's the access door for underneath the crawl space. It's all in. Put my drain pipes in so the water drains away from the house. 
The foundation is finished and we're starting construction on the deck. Thank you for joining me on this great adventure of building a foundation. I've got to confess, this is the first time I've ever built any cement foundation like this. I had to go on YouTube and consult on how to work with uh, Sacrete Concrete, the mortar, how to lay cement blocks the correct way, all the tools I need. YouTube is a wonderful uh, medium to learn what you don't know. So hopefully you learn something and this motivates you or inspires you to go out and try any adventure. Uh, if you don't know what you're, you know, if you don't know how to do anything, try YouTube first. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Thank you for joining me.